Aquarius. We'll have a look and see, um, Aquarius, what sort of connection this is between you and this person. What's, what is it that's bringing the two of you together? Okay, awakening. There was another sign that had this, but I cannot remember for the life of me which one it was, Aqua. Um, okay, look, this is a very powerful connection because it's going to awaken something within you. The number two is quite powerful because it's the number of um, partnership. You also have the sign of partnership, which is Libra here. So I really feel like the two of you are being brought together because there's something that you need to realize or understand or acknowledge about yourself as an individual, but also as a lover or a future partner to someone. Likewise, I feel like this person is also engaging with you because they too have some sort of awakening. And this is very powerful because it shows that there's going to be a major shift in your love life when this person enters your life and when you establish a connection with them. Uh, the card of awakening is really a card of enlightenment. It's a card of understanding and it's complete brand new perception. So I think there's a very beautiful potential from what can come of this. The karmic lessons that you'll learn karmic energy the karmic lessons that you'll learn Aquarius need to happen it's all about divine timing for yourself and for this person when the two of you come together so this is really really powerful a beautiful connection here possibly the first of its kind um, or your second major love connection in your life um, let's have a look at the areas of strength in this connection um, Aquarius Okay, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is really an energy where we hold on to something, we protect it, and we nurture it because we understand the value of it, and we don't want to let this go. Now, I feel like in one way, the attachments that you'll have to each other will be quite strong, and I don't think it's an unhealthy attachment. I think the two of you could potentially have a solid um a, a solid connection, but you're both quite codependent on each other. And that's not to say you'll both be really clingy. I think it's more to do with the fact that you'll both hold on to each other. But because it's coming through as equal, the four is an equal number. Um, it's also a number of solidarity and concreteness. It shows that it's almost like you're bringing two, the other person is bringing two, and you make that four of pentacles and you, um, you hold on to each other. It's also a card of protection, okay? So um, maybe you're going to be very, very protective towards each other. Um, you're going to stand up for your relationship. If there's anyone that has anything to say um, or, you know, put their two cents in, or if anyone was to ever offend or upset your partner or vice versa, the two of you will be quite um, supportive in um, protecting each other, lifting the other one up and helping them, um, draw inspiration okay or giving them solace and or comfort as well you also have the ten of pe uh, cups which is a beautiful card this is actually a happily ever after card so i think one of your strengths could be your ability to build a family together find marriage or live happily ever after together this really is a card of completion it's a card of fulfillment it's looking to the rainbow in the sky it's also optimism um and when we think about the rainbow, we understand why the rainbow comes out after the storm, after the hardship, after the obstacles. So A, I feel like it's your ability to always see the good in a situation or the strength is here that both of you will see the best in each other as you overcome obstacles and you'll always be, at least at some point, or at least to some degree, I should say, you will be quite optimistic because the rainbow is the colorful moments, the memories, the nostalgia, um, the beautiful um, emotions we feel when we're with each other. So um, this is very powerful. Um, it's also, you'll, you'll I, I do see the two of you falling in love, possibly creating a family. Um, but this is having all your emotions here and a lot of affection. You're standing here side by side, embraced in each other's arms. So you're saying oh, yes to each other, yes to the future. And you're also saying yes to what's to come, but you're standing hand in hand here. So this really is your partner in crime, the person who's going to be supportive of you, who's going to be encouraging of you and vice versa. So one of your strengths is your ability to build and create um, a life together and be open to experiences. I think this is going to be an absolutely wonderful journey here for you, Aqua. Um, let's have a look and see where the challenges may lie, however. Okay, nine of wands is quite a capricious energy. He's dubious, he's unsure, he's questioning things, he's uncertain about them, he's got his guard up. 
Now, this would sort of make sense because I did mention holding on and withdrawing and being attached to something here. So I do feel in one sense, sometimes it can be a good thing. Other times it might be a weakness of the connection. Um, fire energy is opposition and is defensiveness, or it is even possessive slash jealousy slash um, protectiveness that is uh, to, a great, to a degree a little bit unhealthy. So it can be obsessive behavior. It can be ownership, someone wanting ownership and the other not letting, you know, um, not letting the other break down those walls and or barriers because the nine of wands, he's on guard, he's on alert here. So it's either defensiveness in bottling up what could be emotions because you have the king of cups who rules the emotional realm or it's defensiveness um, or not wanting to open up about those emotions. Now, this could be you, Aqua, this could be them, this could be the both of you, but you might see that in the Nine of Wands. Um, it's also suspicions or paranoia. You can see the expression on his face and he's looking to the side as if he's almost expecting something to happen. So presumptuous behavior, insecure thoughts, either from yourself, from this person, from the both of you, can cause paranoia and or trust issues to be... Um, to be awoken in this connection okay awakening is a lot it's going to it's almost like you'll see a mirror um you know being held up to you or you're going to acknowledge things that maybe you didn't think were an issue or you didn't think there was you know um it was an unhealthy thing or this for this person but nonetheless it could be something that happens between the two of you which is quite interesting um look you also have the king of cups and he does rule the emotional realm it can be Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, but most importantly, it's about love, falling in love and managing emotions. Um, the King of Cups reconciles with his emotions. Um, he's very aware of them. But in this context, if we're reading it as a challenge, then he's trying to suppress emotions. And I say suppress because he's literally floating on this sea of emotion on a stone slab throne. And to read it in this context, I feel it points to someone bottling up their emotions or not expressing them as openly as you could. And when that is expressed, it's great and it's glorious and it brings harmony and happiness and affection. And it allows that bondship to be built closer and closer between the both of you. But when it's not, it has the potential to curb your relationship because it's suppressing emotions. Um, it can also be at some point or another being too dependent on your partner or them being too dependent on you um, because King of Cups is a lot of emotion. But look at the contrast here between the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups. So at one point, point or another, you might be the one that's getting a lot of emotion and love and the other person is feeling defensive. Um, at another point later on in your relationship, this person might be the one that's giving you a lot of attention and love and wants to open up their emotions and suddenly you're suppressing it's also something linked with the subconscious. And I say that because we don't know what's underneath in the water here. We see eels or snakes um, and the water is chaotic or choppy. So I almost want to say, and of course, this is not something I could read into. Whatever's going on in your subconscious is, is shaped and molded by your previous experiences, your relationships as a child, any sort of traumatic events that happened as a child, any sort of trauma bonding um, or anything psychologically that affected you. Um, so this is something you might not even be aware of, um, but the subconscious is somehow going to impact this relationship and it's going to prove challenging. Um, so that might have something to do with it. Some of you might be seeking professional help or your partner might be seeking professional help, but things in the subconscious aren't readily, it's, it's, it's the way why we do things, you know, and, and to understand that, I think it takes a, a professional, first of all, to help you uncover what it is that's going on in your subconscious, but maybe understanding that maybe through spirituality, maybe through psychotherapy, uh, maybe through meditation or prayer or um, religion, that might help you, but that could be an issue, okay, suppressed issues or the subconscious thoughts. I will leave it at that, um, Aqua. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, um, and hopefully we shall be connecting very soon. So take care and bye for now.